What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, today it's going to be a plant tour. I water on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So I'm going to go ahead and water today and I figured I would just bring you guys along because I've been getting several questions on my watering routine and I figured that while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and give you guys a plant tour. So I don't have hundreds of plants. I just have about maybe... 15. I'm not even sure the number, but I don't have hundreds of plants, but I do have several. So I was just going to go ahead and show you what I have as well as my watering technique. The first thing I can say with my watering is I don't use chlorinated water. So I have a filter that connects to my water hose and I will fill up several gallons of water. I always buy spring water and whenever I'm done with those containers, I just hold on to them in my garage. And then once a week I'll go out and I'll fill up about six or seven containers and I'll leave them out in my garage. And I use that water when I'm watering my houseplants. I don't use chlorinated water, tap water. Like that's one of the key things to success with my houseplants. I honestly truly believe it's starting with the water. I get one of those gallon jugs and I give one pump of my plant food. So once I have that gallon, I will go around my house and I distribute that into my house plant. But the first thing is, I always get the soil moist first before I add the fertilizer into it because you don't want the plants first drink, first uptake to be of, the, of that plant food right away. So I get the soil just a little bit wet first and then I go in with that plant food. Also with some of my smaller plants, like this one behind me. So this is a propagation, by the way, from one of my other fiddles. But with smaller plants like this, I usually just take these to the shower. And I like to just use the handheld shower head to rinse off the leaves. And then I'll wet the soil there. And then I'll come through with that gallon jug. And that's when I will use the fertilizer. These leaves are get dusty fairly easy. So I do like to give them a shower about once a week. So come on, let's go get started. Cause I can't even imagine having hundreds of plants because I know with the amount that I do have, it is definitely a weekly chore that is added to my list. So that is savvy say you know i always got something going on because i'm always doing several things and my house plants i love them a lot they make me happy and so i don't mind doing the work that is required to take care of them and for them to thrive so first thing first is the water let's go get our water so let's head out to my garage and get some water let me get on some shoes real quick real quick whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright, so out here in my garage is where I keep my stash of water, see? So I think these, some are getting low, I'm going to need to refill up some. So I'm going to grab this one today, this is water that I have just filled up from my filter. So I got my water and my plant food. This is the plant food by Good Dirt. So all I've been using for the longest, it's almost empty, I need to buy a new one. So all I do is to my gallon jug, whoop, is get one pump. Uh oh, that barely came out, so I'll give it two. Cause on here, this says, the directions say, may be applied at each time plants are watered. Make a fresh solution every time you feed. For indoor plants, dispense one full pump and three full pumps if you're using it for outside. We're using this for our indoor plants. I just gave one pump, really like one and a half, cause the first one didn't really do much. And then just give that a good shake. It's just like slightly brownish, not much. Clean up a little mess here I made. And then I'm gonna get my the shower set up. So I use the girls' bathroom because that's just easier for me. We are in the girls' playroom, and so I'm gonna grab these plants from out of here. Girls' rooms they have three plants. They have this beautiful fiddle leaf fig. They have the monstera. And they have a fiddle leaf bambino. This is Frank. Let me get in here and show you. I have pruned Frank 
and he has given me several branches. So Frank was three plants in one pot. I found these plants at Lowe. They were in a pot together, it was three of them. And I brought them home and I separated them and we named them Frank, Fiona, and Figgy. This is Frank. Fiona's downstairs and we gave Figgy away to a dear friend of mine. So Figgy has a new home, but I did keep two out of the three. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these taken over to the shower, get their leaves washed off and show you how I do the watering routine there. Then I have the mama of all my fiddle leaf figs. This is my baby. This was my first fiddle leaf fig. She's been a trooper with me. When I first got her, she was in this corner and she just wasn't doing well. She was dropping all her leaves and that's how I know they need to be directly in front of a window. I don't have curtains or anything because I like to just have it so that it gets enough sunlight without anything blocking it. And she is a beauty. This one has also been pruned and it is in tree form. It has several branches. A little cutting from my Monstera. It's looking good. I'm gonna be potting this up soon. It's starting to do good. It's getting a lot of root. And it also has a new leaf coming out. So I have that one in front of the window as well. And then I have this fiddle leaf fig, which was a cutting from Frank. This is Frank's baby. And when I pruned Frank, we got baby Frank now. Frank is baby Frank is doing lovely. I'll also take baby Frank to the shower. So these two are in my daughter's room, my daughter's bedroom. So they also have two plants. This is just a snake plant and this is the Croton. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the correct, the names right. I'm not really sure 100% the correct terminology on how you pronounce it. But this is their two plants in their bedroom. And then I usually take those over to the shower as well, just to wash off their leaves and make sure any dust that has accumulated is off. Then I have this other snake plant here in my bed bathroom gets a lot of good bright light here and this is the snake plant I'm gonna probably separate this one and make two plants out of it always better with more plant that one's happy here in my bedroom so I also take that one over to the shower give it a good wash and in my bedroom I have my bird of paradise so beautiful lush green leaves the leaves are getting huge so I have another snake plant here and I have this black tray for this one because I don't take this one to the shower. Whenever it has any runoff, that black tray would just collect the runoff. I have most of my upstairs plants in here. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a good wash and then I'll get into watering them. So I have more plants downstairs that I don't bring up here. I just take them to my kitchen sink. My snake plants don't have the same water requirements as my monstera and my fiddle leaf figs. It's every 10 to 14 days and I really make sure that the soil has dried out. These are a little bit more forgiving on the watering schedule so they like to go more on the drier end versus being watered too often. So I don't water these as often as I do my monstera and my fiddle leaf figs. It just so happens to be two weeks for these guys so I have brought them in here to get those watered as well. So once I have my leaves all rinsed off, washed off, I'm gonna go ahead and start watering in the soil. So this one is just plain water and this one has the fertilizer. So I'm just gonna get it a little bit moist first. Then I'll go ahead and start pouring some of this into this measuring cup. And I'll just distribute this four cups between these plants here. Regular water, no fertilizer in here at all. I'm gonna add this first and then I'm gonna go in with of my fertilizer. This is the size pot that I have. And once again, these are the plants in my daughter's playroom. And in my daughter's bathroom, they also have a snake plant. Well, so I think we have a lot of snake plants. That is it for my plants 
upstairs take you down there and let you see fiona fiona was one of the three that were together so let's go downstairs and have a look at those and i don't bring those up here because i'm just lazy i don't want to be dragging them up and down the stairs sometimes i have but for the most part i just wash them at my sink or I take them out on the back patio and give them a good spraying down so i'm gonna go and get the rest of my plants and i'll bring them here to the sink okay so down here i have a pothos another monstera that is a propagation from the mother one then i have fiona and i have i think that's it and another snake plant so let me go ahead and get those so i bring these to the sink and i give them a good shower just to clean their leaves off The hummingbirds, I can see the hummingbirds fighting right now at the feeder. I'm gonna show y'all what they do all day long. <laughs> he's, he's on guard. Ooh, ooh. And then I have this propagation stand. How cute is this? And this is also, this also is on the shelf in the office. Let me grab my potos and I'm gonna show you Fiona. This is my potos. So I did make one of those little DIY cocoa core sticks and I've been training my potos to grow up it. It's been working out pretty good. So I like to spray off her leaves as well. And then let's go see Fiona. This is Miss Fiona. Growing her once right here. And that's when she gave me one two, three branches, pruned her again, and now we have all this new growth coming out. She is a happy girl. She loves it right in her home, right in front of this window. But look how beautiful and lush her leaves are. During my watering days, I like to do this, give them a good shaking. This strengthens their roots. It makes them think, hey, it's a windstorm. I gotta put my feet deeper. I gotta get stronger and it will help them their stem get thicker that's also why you don't want to remove any of the lower leaves right away because these leaves are gonna help the stem get stronger and thicker eventually I will remove some of these bottom ones when I start turning her more into a tree form but right now I'm just letting Fiona do her thing I'm just letting her do her thing so I'm gonna go ahead and give Fiona her four cups of water so Fiona has been in this pot for about two years now I got her in 2019 and I think it's about time to upgrade her this was supposed to just be a starter pot and she ended up staying here for two years she's not really root bound yet but I just want to change it to a more modern style pot something white maybe so stay tuned for that we'll be moving her this week Fig that I'm propagating my pruning video. This one is from Fiona and that is it. This little guy in the propagation station and it's just on our shelf in our office. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Thanks for spending this time with me and coming along while I take care of my beautiful house plants and my other baby. So that is it. Stay tuned for the next video.